My name is Melissa Geary and I am an independent yoga teacher and yoga therapist living in Fort Bragg, North Carolina with my husband, teaching for Fort Bragg and local studios. I got certified through Stephanie Keach's 230 hour therapeutic yoga teacher training up in Asheville, North Carolina, where I taught at the University of North Carolina Asheville, Cross Episca, the Center for Disordered Eating, and the University's Happy Lab, where I privately worked with clients to encourage healthy aging. I am also a self-employed yoga therapist where I teach private yoga sessions for clients with health maladies, helping clients grow in building their own mind-body relationship, allowing them to become more comfortable in their own bodies. There is something yoga can offer to everyone, especially for their emotional, physical, and mental health. I keep my rates lower and sometimes use a sliding scale because I want everyone to experience patience of letting their body slowly open up, gaining flexibility and strength. When you have someone who suffers from severe rotator cuff issues and weeks later can finally bring her arm all the way extended up or someone who returns from a deployment that jumps at the sound of thunder, a week after weeks of yoga has reconditioned his nervous system where he no longer has heightened arousal at loud noises, that is serving the greater good. Whether in my classes or privates, being able to teach people that they can heal themselves without having to buy it from a store or get it prescribed by doctors, but they are in control and they can do it whenever, wherever they please. As a conscious business leader, I simply want to share this gift to others, the gift that has helped me surmount grief, depression, and codependence, a gift that it, for once is all about the clients, and a gift that will instill a positive change. I am passionate about sharing this and teaching this, especially to servicemen and women, because people who fight for our freedom and the American dream deserve to be able to live the American dream and live in freedom. And with these simple concepts, implementing them in soldiers and veterans and military dependents can be so healing. And I know as a military wife, that with my husband gone very often, that it can be really hard. But yoga has cultivated the strong relationship I have with myself, and I want to share that with my students. Yoga can be very intimidating, especially in the male arena. A funny thing this guy once said to me regarding how intimidating yoga is, he said, I don't want to be the big juice head in a room full of ladies that are flexible when I can barely touch my toes. So many people are drawn away, curious, but drawn away by their self-conscious fears. And, a co and as a conscious business leader, I condition marketing classes and privates for my clients' personal desires. A few last words about what it means to be a conscious business leader in the yoga world. My dad once told me that if you do what you love, the money will come. I've learned that being a conscious business leader, especially in the yoga world, love must be the first thing. And encouraging clients and students to cultivate love for their bodies and themselves, allowing them to feed off of my own demeanor, I feel, in my experience, has made all the difference. So how does my yoga business serve the greater good? Giving clients and students the love and power to become their own healers. Thank you.